You may already know that the giant sequoia, also called the redwood, is considered an ecological time bomb. But why do people periodically cut them down? This extraordinary tree can live up to 3,000 years, and it is regarded as one of the most fearsome plants on Earth. They can grow over 100 meters tall and weigh as much as 1,000 tons. Even the bark alone can be more than 30 centimeters thick. But what truly sends shivers down the spine is not just their massive size, but the fact that this tree has evolved in astonishing ways to protect its own descendants. Its survival strategy is almost mythical, burning itself to be reborn like a phoenix. The giant sequoia has the ability to attract lightning strikes, sparking wildfires in its surroundings. This act helps eliminate the undergrowth, competitors for sunlight, water, and nutrients. Not only plants, but even some animals living nearby may also be affected and driven to extinction. What's more, the sequoia can secrete a natural fire retardant substance called tannin, allowing it to survive even when flames rage on the outside. It is almost immune to the very wildfires it initiates. Remarkably, the cones of the sequoia can only crack open and release their seeds under extreme heat. In other words, fire is required. Thus, wildfires not only wipe out competitors under the canopy, but also open up space and provide light for its seeds to germinate and grow. The stronger the fire, the greater the chances of its offspring thriving. So why do people still cut down some of these giants? Partly to manage forests and prevent uncontrollable wildfires, but also because the wood of this species is extremely rare and expensive. The felled trees are often sold to luxury timber markets, becoming highly sought-after products.